Hey uh, everybody, in this video I thought we could do something a little bit different. In this video I'm going to direct you to a useful resource in which you can use free icons for your websites. The name of this website is Font Awesome. This isn't a sponsorship or anything like that, I just tend to like to use this website for free icons. So there is a free version, I'm going to start for free, and you just need to set up an account. So enter an email address, and then create and use this kit. Then it's just a matter of verifying your email address to create an account. After signing in, you'll need to add your kit's code to a project. This is a small script. So I'm going to copy this kit code, and within the head of my HTML document, I'm going to paste it. And now we can search for some icons. At the top menu of this website, we'll go to Icons, and we can search. A lot of these you do need a paid account, but there's a lot of free icons as well. So let's look up any free icons. Let's look for a home. So click on an icon. You can select a size and a background color. And to use this icon, click on start using this icon. All you have to do is copy this HTML code. And then someplace within the body of your document, you can paste it. And we now have that house icon. So let's search for a few more. How about Twitter? Select a size and a background, start using this icon. Copy the HTML code, and then paste it. Okay, one more, how about YouTube? So again, select an icon, select a size, select a background, start using this icon, copy this code, and paste it. Okay, let's style some of these elements. Let's change the color of our Twitter icon. So this portion here is the class name, F-A, dash Twitter. So type dot for classes, fa dash Twitter. And let's change the color property. I think aqua is fairly close to the original logo color. And let's do the same thing with YouTube. So dot fa dash YouTube, and I will change the color to red. And you can add really any CSS properties. We can also turn these into hyperlinks. So I will surround one of these elements with a pair of A tags. Then I will set the href attribute equal to a URL. Then when I click on this icon, it takes me to YouTube. It wouldn't be a bad idea to place some of these within the header or the footer of your web page. So yeah, those are font awesome icons and how to style them using CSS. So if this video helped you out, please be sure to help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.